Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee with the Moon. I'm the Moon. And today we're gonna to talk about courage. Courage. If I was the king of the forest, right? We think of courage, we think sometimes of the cowardly lion because sometimes with courage, it's not a positive. We think of it as a negative. Like I don't have enough of it, but you do. And here's the thing I want you to, to understand. Most courage comes from three things, all right? One, what would be the benefit if I did something courageous? If I stood up to the bully, if I did something that required me to take a leap of faith? That's the first thing. And when you think about the benefits, you'll be more courageous. Two, you start to think about the idea of what would happen if I don't do it. The regret, the shame, the guilt. That's good to kind of feel that you'll know that you may feel bad about not doing something. So that should inspire you. Three, how it benefits others. I'll give you a small example of how I was able to get courage by benefiting others. I had met a girl at Universal Studios. This is like probably 12, 13 years ago. And she was from Norway and she was the cutest thing in the whole world. And her and her friend uh, and I kind of just met in line at a ride and we started walking around the park together. And I became the tour guide. And it was very independent film-like scenario, right? She wants to go through the house of horrors, and I hate haunted houses. I'm so scared of haunted houses. I'm totally willing to admit that I do not like haunted houses. And she wanted to do it, and I did not want to be a coward. And I remember walking through the haunted house with her, feeling so brave because I had to be brave for her. And the same thing goes in regular life. When you get on stage, you have to be brave for the audience. When you write a newsletter that maybe pisses off a couple people, you have to be brave for the comedians that need to have that information. When you go to your boss and say, hey, you owe me money, or when you go to your friend and say, hey, you can't say that or treat me like that, and you create boundaries and you start to use courage to get yourself to be become the person you want to be, you're also benefiting others because when you do that, they will not treat other people that way. So I want you to think of these three things. One, how in the world does this benefit me? How does it benefit me? If I get on stage, if I do what I'm supposed to do, if I do the courageous act. Two, how will I feel if I don't? Because regret sometimes is worse than how great you feel doing something. And three, how does it benefit the community and how will it make someone else feel safe by you being courageous? And in a weird way, as a stand-up comedian, you make the audience feel safe because you get to do the thing they're too afraid to do, which is to get on stage. So whatever you're doing in your life, just think about that. The benefit of being courageous, the regret that comes not being courageous, and most importantly, how it makes other people become courageous. This was Coffee with the Moon. Go and read the newsletter.